Hello everyone, in this lecture today, I'm going to talk to you about polysome profiling. So what is polysome profiling? Polysome profiling is a method in molecular biology that is used to separate mRNA from a cell into actively translating and non-translating fractions depending on their association with polysomes. Then what is polysome? So in the cell, we have mRNA as free mRNA. That means this mRNA is not associated with ribosomes. Then we have mRNA associated with one ribosome that is called monosome. And when a mRNA molecule is associated with two or more than two ribosomes, that is called polysomes. So polysome profiling is a method that is used to separate actively translating and non-translating fractions. Because actively translating mRNAs have higher number of ribosomes associated with them, and the number of ribosomes associated with an mRNA is a measure of translation state of the mRNA, polysome profiling is highly useful method to find out actively translating and non-translating fractions of mRNA in a given cell. The polysome profiling process separates translated mRNA on a sucrose gradient according to the number of bound ribosomes. The first step in polysome profiling is cell lysis. After the cell lysis, we perform the centrifugation and we, we collect the supernatant. And then this supernatant is put on to the sucrose gradient, which is 15% to 40% sucrose gradient and then a sucrose gradient centrifugation is performed. In the sucrose gradient, the different fractions can be visualized. As you can see here, we have here free mRNA molecules. Here we have 40S ribosomes. Here we have 60S ribosomes. Here we have 80S ribosomes associated mRNA or monosome. And then in the bottom, we have polysome in the bottom, we have polysomes. So after the visualization, so we can fractionate each of these fractions uh, by using flow cell and spectrophotometer. As you can see that here we have free mRNA fraction. Here we have 40S ribosome. Here we have 60S ribosome. Here we have monosome, which is 80S ribosome associated mRNA. And here we have polysomes. Then in the next step, from each of these fractions, total RNA is isolated, okay? So from each of these fractions, total RNA is isolated. After isolation of total RNA from each of these fractions, we can do two things. For targeted analysis, for example, if we want to analyze one single mRNA molecule, then we can perform RT-PCR. So then what RT-PCR will give us? We can perform RT-PCR on uh, free fractions and, and as well as on polysome associated fractions. So if we find that more mRNA is present in polysome associated fraction compared to free or monosome associated fraction, that means that more of the mRNA molecule is getting translated. We can also perform holistic analysis. That means looking at the whole uh, cellular transcripts. For that purpose, we can use RNA sequencing and this will give us whole cell translatome. That means we can perform RNA sequencing analysis on RNAs isolated from all these fractions, free mRNAs, ATS ribosome associated mRNAs and polysome mRNAs and we get the idea of how much total mRNA molecule is getting, tr getting translated or non-translated in each of these fractions. If we have more in polysome associated fraction, that clearly means that more of the mRNA is getting translated.